A human being sees themselves as something separate from the rest, an optional delusion of their consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, to restrict ourselves from our natural desires, and giving only compassion to some close to us, our family members, our friends, and some in a close circle. A task must to be to spreading this circle of compassion to embrace all living beings, all innocent living beings, and nature in its beauty. All innocent beings, all animals, small, big, gigantic, no matter if they have fur, feathers or poles. Want all to live the life the way they want. They want to be free. They live, want to live and don't want to be food. Any year, something like 150 billion animals being brutally executed for food. Something that is totally unnecessary because humans can live on plants only. And there will be many that have proved this. From the point of Pythagoras and Samos, something like uh, 2500 years ago, as Gautama Buddha, just like Jesus Christ. Read the Apostle of the Nazareus. And also, the name was Jesus of Nazareth. There's a direct link uh, to the Nazareus and the Pythagoras, the followers of Pythagoras. Pythagoras are vegans and vegetarians. Been in that time called Pythagoras because they are just like the great philosopher Pythagoras, extinct from the consumption of animal products. Just like he have once said, Pythagoras of once have said, as long as man will be the ruthless destroyer of other living beings. They will nothing ha find health or peace. Indeed, the states and states of murder and hate will not enjoy love or peace. All living beings have a central nervous system. All animals be sensuous and aware. All animals want to be left alone, in peace, in happiness, with their kind. And with the ones that they want in their life. All forms of human actions come basically from three sources. First, mouths, as well as the power of the group, and can only lead to can lead to great immorality. This kind of conduct is only justifiable when it being for self-defense or the public and self-defense, replacement of self-defense, the defense of one another, innocent.
Then we have ego. That controls the mind of the will and of the of their of the lust. And only can get to the point of immorality. To selfish and to greed. An extreme. Then we have the kind of human conduct, basic kind of human conduct, that being compassion. This is the only true form of moral conduct. Compassion, in its purest form, can only lead to sympathy for respect to compassion and to morality to kindness and to justice and to noble noble a noble life Hanging in the most upside down on the slaughterhouse floor. That's not compassionful. That's not friendly. That's not nice. It's not nice for them. And you have to watch any situation always from the position of the victims. If you choose right from wrong. Because if you're not being the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock and excuse cruelty, inequality. Murder, rape, slavery, and even for, and even murder and torture and faltering and any kind of immoral action. But when you win the victim, no excuse is justifiable for what they do to you you only want that it stop and once you not that somebody stand up for your right to be free mock you mock the victimizers say in the face of the victimizers from how dare you to oppress them how dare you to think that you be more special than them. How dare you to believe that you have the right to commodify them. How dare you to say that their life don't matter at all. How dare you to turn them in commodities. That's what all revolutionary activists around the whole history have done. They have always watched any form of oppression from the position of the victims. Slave liberationists don't look to the eyes of the slave masters. They have looked through the eyes of the slaves. Just like the civil rights activists have also not looked to the eyes of the racist, sexist male. But they have looked to the eyes of the woman. They have looked to the eyes of the victims. So that's what we have to do. If we want to have change for the animals. We have to watch it from the position of them. And explain why. Just like always. Around the whole history. It be not moral. It be not good. To commodify it. Enslave. And. Oppress. Weaker groups. Might make not right. Because the majority. Want it. The majority of the slave masters. Was not right. The majority of the. Of the um, Heterosexistic men 
in the, for the civil rights, civil rights movement. But it's not right. Just like tea of meat eaters. Being not right. But think you about this. Taking somebody's isle's right to be free away. That's not right. That's immoral. White rights don't go about taking somebody else's right to be free away. That's pretty insane, you think you not? But it's your right to do that. It is your right to do that. Yes, that is it. You have a right to decide which you want, but you have not the right to decide to enslave other living beings and view them like commodities. That's the only difference. And I know a lot of you maybe think that's crazy. And some of you maybe make also a, 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 just more weird stuff up. For example, <laughs> the last is weird stuff that I've heard is about uh, um, if the we free the animals, they overrun us. All animals being artificially inseminated any year. The meat industry always can control the procreation. So when the meat supply go lower and the meat and uh, last people eat meat would have been a great idea for many many reasons because also the world don't can sustain so a lot of meat they're in neck eaters in this particular people that eat just like the Americas and the Western people in Europe be extremely detrimental for the earth any sec any day one um, um, from part of a ground with the sides of New York City being cut for producing of hamburger meat most of them is for animal feed do the map you don't have to be Einstein to figure out the conclusion do your research and don't come with stupid questions why want you that somebody make stupid excuses For tormenting your body and exploit your livelihood and turn you into nothing more than one commodity I suggest not so I also suggest that you don't make excuses for doing this to innocent living beings of nothing harmed you or anybody else in their whole life. I go just a vegan. Eat beans, lentils, legumes. Tell me, I don't care. But let the animals alone. To be not on this planet for human consumption. Just like women be not pension bags for their husbands and boyfriends. And blacks be not for the service of the white man. So, go vegan. What's your excuse? All excuses being weak, selfish, arrogant, pathetic. For the victims. And if one being being innocent, 
it been affecting? If one being, one sentient being, of nothing done, why it can be justifiable to harm them? Oh yes, the all be not terrorists. Those who abuse, torment, and exploit living sentient beings being terrorists. The all only have have actually the all only use non violent tactics. This all. Why in the hell can somebody be against the elf? In the four years of the incensions of the elf, no animal being injured, even by one animal liberation action. It is not an act of violence to destroy buildings that be made of wood, bridge or other materials in order to free living beings. Nelson Mandela have also shown this. If he have actually take part in Guerrilla welfare training. Please don't misunderstand what that means. Mandela and Dandy were one of the most pacifist activists of history ever. But always they have say that doing something violent is always better than to do ne nothing and be apathetic and, and be apathies. So, what should you do? You make a plea and move forwards. Go vegan. There is no excuse for veganism. I can do it, so you can also do it. Don't make excuses. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the truth become visible. <laughs>